Hi everyone, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these stunning vintage salt and pepper shakers out of Dollar Tree salt and pepper shakers. And these were extremely easy to put together and believe it or not they were very inexpensive and I have all the links for you guys um, to be able to purchase your own chains uh, and your bling and whatnot, I go into a lot of detail in this video. So um, be sure and check my blog. I'll have the links listed there as well. Is and also um, the drop-down bar below under this video. Okay. So stay tuned because I really think you're going to love this project. This would make a really lovely gift for someone and they'll think that you took a lot of time with this and in reality it didn't take long at all okay stay tuned okay so the first thing you'll need to do is take your salt and pepper shakers and clean them thoroughly by wiping alcohol on the outside of the bottle and allow it to evaporate completely before you start on it and the next thing you're going to need is a hot glue gun as well as the Gorilla hot glue sticks. Now I purchased these at Walmart. They were in the craft section and you get 30 full-size sticks for um, about five dollars and ninety something cents a bag. Now these hot glue sticks are five times more durable than regular hot glue sticks so that's why we're using this. I would never attempt to um, do what I'm doing with just regular hot glue sticks because it may hold temporarily but it's not going to hold um, for very long. Okay, so with that said, we are going to get started on this. Now I bought this mesh bling or diamond mesh bling from my favorite seller in China and this was super inexpensive from him. I like it because it's thin and it's very flexible so that's what I decided to use on this bottle. Now I already cut a piece right here and I just measured it around the center of the bottle all the way around and I kind of got an idea of where I would need to cut. So this looks good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the edges here or I'm going along the edges here and I'm just cutting off all the little fuzzies. And I'm just doing this because I'm a little picky about stuff like that. <laughs> okay. So I think it looks pretty good. All right. So now, basically we're putting this on because we're, use, we're going to use this as the base um, to put some of our little dealy bobs on. So what I did is I laid the shaker down and I just took my hot glue gun and barely squeezed the trigger and then just kind of drag the glue all the way to the end, like that. And then I tried to find the middle best that I could and just kind of pressed it on there. And there's so little glue that I can actually press my finger on it and it's not going to burn me. 
Okay. Now, about every third row or so, do the same thing. Barely squeeze the trigger, drag it along, just kind of lay it down. You don't have to pull or tug on it. Like that. Just make sure it's nice and straight and in the center. And this really is easy to do. I mean, if an old granny with shaky hands like me can do this and my eyes aren't the best, you can certainly do this. <laughs> okay. So about the third row. And of course, you would never ever put this in a dishwasher. You would just want to gently, gently wipe it off on the outside. I'm sure you knew that, but I had to say it because there will be somebody out there that will ask. I sure hope this silver shows up because one of the hardest things to photograph to me is silver and gold, especially the silver because for some reason it always turns out looking kind of dark or dingy and it's not that way in person. Silver is very difficult to photograph. or record <laughs> without it looking dark. Okay. Now we're almost to the end. very end here I'm just going to close it here so I'm going to just place it here right on the bottle with this part okay here we go Pull some of the little stringy things off. All right. So this part here will be the back seam. You really can't see it, but you can feel it. So, all right. So this will be the front. And um, so the next thing we're going to do. is we're going to wrap this pretty chain around the neck right here. I bought this from my favorite Chinese seller as well for two dollars and ten cents a yard free shipping. I really like it because it's super lightweight, it's thin, and it's a double row of rhinestones. Now every now and then you may be able to feel like a little opening like this every I don't know, maybe every inch or so. And that that's fine um, because this chain was originally meant to, you know, sew on dresses or blouses, things like that. So that's why the little holes. Um, but that's absolutely fine. And uh, for $2.10 plus free shipping, to me, you cannot beat that. So I'm just going to put a small amount of glue, a little stripe, and I'm going to lay this 
down very gently. I'm not going to pull or tug and I'm going to make the bottom part of the glass um, kind of like the base to where you, this chain will just kind of sit on there. That way um, it'll be nice and even and straight. Um, if you have an issue with your chain and it grabbed too quickly, um, you can always pull it off and come back in with this really hot nozzle and just rub it like this until it melts the glue and then stick it again. And I do work fairly quickly with this um, once I have the glue down because of the fact that it does grab really fast. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm just gently, I'm not pulling it real hard, I'm just gently tugging it as I lay it down on the bottle. And you can kind of see where you're going to need to cut once you're about here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just using my nipper tool. You can use wire cutters as well. Dollar Tree has wire cutters. Stop shaking, Larry. Okay. And I'm just gently pulling this over. There we go. Perfect. Alright. So I like the way it turned out. And you just try to make it as even as you can. If it's not 100% even, that's okay because believe it or not when we put the pearl chain around here um, like I showed it does cover up a multitude of sins so um, you know just keep that in mind alright so now the um, next part is we're going to use the same chain and I'm going to glue it to where it's sitting on top of this diamond mesh bling here Okay and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start here. Making a little stripe. And I'm laying this down and it's sitting on this. That'll help keep it straight and I'm not yanking real hard but I'm tugging gently because I want to make sure that this is not pushed together that it's open like this as I'm moving it on around like this and I just have four sides to do of course Tugging ever so gently. Okay. Going on around. And I know that this takes time. Um, it's not difficult, it just takes time. And I thank you guys if you are sticking with me watching all of this. I know it can be boring <laughs> sitting there watching uh, while I do all this. But this is something that I can't rush, not if I want this to look nice. Okay, so I'm going to cut right here. Since this is the end, or the last of this. And 
going to gently tuck and lay this down like so. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with this chain that I did at the top right here at the bottom along the base. Right here. Okay? So, this on like so. There we go. second and I'm going to go on around we're going to continue gluing this all the way around and I'm making sure the chain is butt up against the diamond mesh, like so, yeah, and I will be ending right around here, so I'm going to cut this off right there. There we go. So, there we go. That looks really pretty. So, <clears throat> I'm going to set this chain aside now because we're finished with that type of chain. Now, I purchased this beautiful AB chain, which stands for Aurora Borealis not from my favorite Chinese seller because he didn't have it. This was from another seller that I really liked who sold chain and um, I bought this two yards for $5.99 plus free shipping and this was a while back. Um, I'll go ahead and give you um, this gal's link as well. Okay, And so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to glue this around like this underneath the chain that we did and then when we come to the bottom we'll glue this on top of the chain we did at the bottom like this. Okay. So I think I'm going to start with just the top. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to move this camera down a little bit too. There we go. It's a little better. So I'm going to start right. I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to put a row, and then set this right, right flush against this double chain. Okay. So be nice and straight. Going to turn it around. Do the same thing on all four sides. And I'm holding it up a little bit so I can see that it's even. Sometimes it's difficult when um, the bottle is on its side to see if it's even or not, so I'm just sitting this upwards. And what I should have said was that it's difficult to see when it's a ways away from me. 
I have the camera in front of me. Now, this if this was if I was doing this on my own, it would be directly in front of me, so I wouldn't have that issue. So I will cut it off right here. I can see that it'll only take just that amount of chain. Snip that off. And I think the AB um, really gives it a vintage feel. I know it's hard to see on the camera. That's one thing I regret is I wish I could show this to you in person, but it really gives it a vintage feel. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing right here on the top with the chain. seconds it's not burning me because it's been it's so little that um, it cools down fairly quickly Thank you for all your patience with me. There we go. Make sure it's up against the edge of this double chain. Yeah. So now we just have one more side. And I'm looking at this, and I will cut this off right here. This chain really cuts easily. Both of the chains do. It's nothing that you have to struggle with or anything like that. Peel a little piece off right here. Okay. So I thought it turned out really nice so far. Alright, so this is the seam. I keep feeling there because this is where we closed it off. And um, so I can kind of feel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right here. That would be the back. Okay, so the rest is um, pretty easy. Um, I have 
this filigree connector and I picked this up quite a while ago I know I it's from eBay they have filigree connectors if you just type in those words um, and a whole bunch of them will pop up now this particular one fits pretty perfect <laughs> right here um, let me measure it for you you can get one that's smaller if you would like just don't go over let's see just make sure that it's not over if I can get this on here there okay make sure it's not over 37 inches long or and not inches <clears throat> millimeters <laughs> make sure it's not over 37 millimeters long and make sure it is not over 30 millimeters high okay so if you don't go over those measurements then you'll be doing okay now I don't even have to glue this on with a hot glue gun and I'll show you why I'm going to kind of slide it in there. I'm going to wedge it in there. There we go. Kind of bend this down, downwards. I'm going to put hot glue right here in the middle of it um, with this button. So the hot glue will leak in here to the button. It'll hold everything together. See? And I like this button from my favorite seller because it reminds me of a um, snowflake. Okay. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to hold it there for just um, a few seconds because I think it'll need it. I put a generous amount of the hot glue in the middle of this button because I think it'll need it to stick. Because the um, because of the grooves in the filigree connector. I'm sure a lot of the hot glue will seep into there, so hope I'm explaining this okay. All right, yeah, this is fine. It's okay. So now we have this. Now this is the fun part. <clears throat> Topping it off. I have. <clears throat> so much of this pearl chain um, I was very fortunate to pick this up from a, a lady who was selling it and so you don't have to have this exact chain if you can't find this just as long as you have any kind of pearl chain um, it'll be fine with little connectors like this now this is a six millimeter pearl, but yours can be smaller. Um, you can find rosary type chain hanging up in the, in the bead landing section at Michael's, and I'm sure they would have these at Joanna's. And like I said, as long as it's not over a six millimeter pearl, I think you'll be doing fine. So I used 12 pearls, so I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, and I'm going to cut this off right here, like so, and I'm going to use <clears throat> a little 5 millimeter jump ring, 
And I ordered these little charms that say Joy from a lady on eBay. And I'll give you her address. I believe it was free shipping. I don't think I paid any more than a couple dollars for these. And there was quite a few. I was happy with them. And I'll make sure to give you that link. I mean, there's others out there that have charms that say Joy, but I thought her price was really good, and the shipping was pretty quick. So I'm just opening this jump ring, and I'm going to slide one end of the pearl chain right here. Then I'm going to slide the little Joy charm and then I'm going to take the other end of this pearl chain and slide that through. Then I'm just going to close it up. Okay, so now we have this and we just slide it on the top. Now you can have your charm hanging off to the side if you want like that or you can bring it right around the front and have it right there okay so now I'm going to put both of my salt and pepper shakers together and let me see if I can move this camera up a little and I know that it's like I said it's I, it's difficult to see this. Um, I don't know why this one's hanging so low. Did I miscount the pearls? 6, 7, 8, 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, I think I got one pearl too many on this one. So I'll fix that though. I'll take one of those pearls off. Not on the one that I showed you, but um, on this one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think they turned out really pretty. And this would make a lovely gift, Christmas gift, for someone. Um, it was not expensive to put together, that's for sure. And even if you don't have a Dollar Tree near you, I'm sure that places like the 99 cent store or somewhere equivalent has this type of um, salt shaker. I did like the way um, the glass was depressed right here with grooves because it gave it a little more of a vintage feel to me. So I'm going to pick up some more of these and put together some more of these uh, salt and pepper shakers. Because I think that um, anybody would love receiving these. Even if they set these out only in the holidays, you know. It's kind of cool. It's a good conversation piece. <laughs> okay, well thank you so much for watching. And God bless each and every one of you. You take care. Bye bye. Hi everyone. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know that I set these out um, on the counter. So they would receive regular wear and tear on them and they did really well. Um, this is still rock solid and um, the Gorilla Glue seemed to have done the trick with the exception of one of the buttons popped off and it surprised me because everything else was so solid so um, now this one stayed on so I didn't want to take the chance of this falling off as well. Wasn't too sure why it popped off. I didn't know if it was because the back of the button was smooth or maybe it had something to do with the filigree part I'm not sure so I, I pried the other one off as well since this one popped off and I used E6000 I put it on the back of the um, filigree piece in the middle as well as um, the button and that seemed to have done the trick but I just wanted to give you that little piece of information. Thank you so much. And once again, God bless. Bye-bye.